Good morning, everyone. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Just grabbing my coffee mug here, getting the morning coffee rolling, listening to classical music. You probably can't hear that in the background. Listening to the Westminster Waltz. I just love some good classical music before a hard effort in order to just stay calm. Just stay calm, you know, breathe it out, breathe it out. And yes, today is gonna be a challenging run. The most, uh, as far as intensity goes, hardest run thus far in the training block leading into Amsterdam. And a threshold run is when you are approaching oxygen debts and you're scratching the surface. And what is oxygen debt? It's a very oversimplified, and I'll go into a lot more detail on this uh, here in a little bit, but it's you're, you cannot deliver enough oxygen to your muscles like quickly enough. So uh, you're, you're mimicking especially the latter stages of a race. Uh, so that is what I'm doing today. Nine miles and yes, we got the 4% and the next percent taking the 4% flying it out first um, in the nine mile. But today is a double day. We're doubling it up um, because of the US Mountain Championships on Sunday. I'm getting a little more volume in earlier in the week so I can freshen up for the US Mountain Championships in New Hampshire on Sunday. So I'm gonna take out the next percent. Um, who knows, just to see, see how they ride, um, see how they ride. And you know, I, my opinion is, is not gonna change, I don't think, uh, but thank you everyone for checking out yesterday's vlog, uh, talking about both of these shoes a lot. So, all right, let's roll out here in the kitchen and rock and roll. Mixing up, mixing up my drinks. I'm gonna do the noon during the uh, during the workout, and then the Univad recovery mix, as I've been doing a lot lately. So here we go. Oh yeah, here we go. Getting sunglasses on. Temperature is pretty good. About. About 60 degrees right now. It's gonna warm up though pretty quick. And yes, we've got a little surprise for you today in the vlog, a little surprise for you. You'll find out here in probably a minute or two. All right, feeling ready, feeling ready. There he is. Here's the surprise, here's the surprise. You got a bike in that car? Good to see you, sir. <laughs> Boom. Steve-O is here for a little pacing help and water help and GoPro help. Where should I put this? Sweet. All right, so everyone, here we go. Rocking and rolling. You can go right. Going to the starting line, back to the Highline Canal, back to dirt. Remember, I'm playing it safe, trying to be smart. Uh, yes, I know, I know. Taking the Nike Vaporfly 4% fly knits out on dirt. Don't hit me up, uh, don't hit me too hard down in the comments, but Steve is here to help with a lot of things today. Steve, number one, is uh, hydration, all right? You're gonna carry the water bottle with some electrolyte mix, and then pacing, so today, as I said in the kitchen, is gonna be, it's gonna be hard. So toward the end, especially, once we turn around, so we're gonna go four and a half out, four and a half back. Um, Steve's gonna pull, pull me home, and then on his bike, and then, uh, and then, Steve, we're actually going to uh, we're going to be able to film a little bit, so I'm going to give you the GoPro. Oh, yeah. So you put that somewhere. So we got a little footage from the actual workout, the threshold workout. And then lastly, don't let me get hit by a car because we have to cross. I think I think we're going to cross like six streets. Now they're very small, like neighborhood streets, but I don't want to have to break my stride. Yeah. So if you could bike ahead at the streets just to kind of make sure the cars are. Staying, staying in their lane, cool. if you know what I mean. Yeah. So that's the mission. Steve O, he's back. That's cowbell too. Oh yeah. To, uh, oh, yeah. Pull your pace. More cowbell, more cowbell. What? Where'd you get those? There you go, sir. Boom. You ready? We're ready. Rocking and rolling. All right. Same as always. I uh, want to feel in control, not out of control. 
I do want to make it hurt more than uh, the tempo runs though. And I have some, some time goals in mind, uh, but at the end of the day, going by feel, finding that rhythm, all right? Let's see if it's done. Let's go. Dig! Go, go, go! Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Go, go, go! Steve's, Steve's hired. He's hired. Good pacing, buddy. I got the, uh, got the recovery drink. Here we go. That's right. Got to get this in as quick as possible. Uh, I don't even know what the pace was, everyone. And guess what? I don't really care at this point because I know we were close, but at the the most important thing is that it felt it felt smooth. It, I didn't feel feel like I was pressing too too much. Maybe the last mile it started to hurt, but man, Stevo Stevo is hired. He is he is hired, man. I don't know. It just felt good. It just felt really good on a on pretty tired legs, I must say, after the long run and the tempo run. So, Steve, boom. Yeah. Uh, let's roll, let's roll in the studio, back from the second run, the double. That's right, I did take out the next percents in the second run. There they are, and uh, I talked a lot about these two shoes in yesterday's vlog, as you all probably know at this point. And my opinion has not changed. It hasn't changed. You saw me putting the band-aids on the back of my heel. I think I got, I was pretty well protected just looking at them right now. Uh, in the next percent, I just need to I need to baby those blisters for a little bit longer. But I did not put bl uh, band aids on or that little uh, piece of padding when I wore the Vaporfly four percent fly knits, and uh, I didn't feel them at all once again in the nine mile threshold. So I'm not going to talk about the second run. I'm going to focus in on the threshold run because that's why you all are here. But I just want you to know that at this point, my opinion has not changed. Sticking with the four percent. Uh, for Amsterdam right now feeling amazing feeling amazing all right so today's run we're looking at nine miles or 14 kilometers 14 and a half kilometers on uh, 515 per mile or 315 per kilometer and I am placing that effort today on the Highline Canal with Stevo in the confidence builder category I not let's do it let's do it I was gonna wait till the end but let's do it right now question of the day any distance, any surface, what is your go-to confidence builder workout leading into, let's say, a peak race, your big race, your state championships, your uh, your USATF championships, whatever the case, your world championships. I Doha is about to start. The track championships are about to start. Um, so anyway, what is your biggest confidence building workout that you love to go to? Frankly, for me, it's threshold running. It just gives me that uh, confident, especially for longer distances, that I can hold a pace, okay? And I should mention real quick before I forget is that a couple people on Strava were asking me about the difference between tempo runs and threshold runs. So I'll do my best to remember upper right hand corner, I made a vlog all about different types of runs that I do. I'll do my best to remember to link to it, upper right hand corner, click on that card that pops out. I'll also link it at the end of this vlog, a shout out to that video. So I will do one more threshold run before Amsterdam, just one. So we're getting closer. I feel really good about that decision. It's tempting to do two, 
Uh, but again, learning from Cleveland in high intensity on hard surfaces. I've just learned now, I stayed on dirt today. It was, it was difficult. I wanted to go on pavement, but I stayed on dirt and I'm glad that I did because at this point, I don't feel any sharp pains or niggles right now. So this is good. So you're probably wondering, how did I actually feel at 515 per mile for the average? I felt strong. I felt in control. There were some moments where I, I had, I told myself, easy does it. So that's a good sign, meaning don't go crazy. This is not a race. Now it hurt. I was breathing. Steve hurt, but here's the crazy thing. As Steve was biking alongside me, it was very easy for me to say, hey, Steve, a bottle, meaning hand me a water bottle. Or Steve, there's a road coming up. Uh, go stop the cars or whatever the case. Like I wasn't, it wasn't crazy hard for me to just say it. Now I wasn't talking in full sentences. So again, that is a good sign. And then it's also interesting having done 24 miles on Monday. So my legs are feeling it. I just, I can't wait to run at sea level with fresh legs. I just can't wait. I haven't done that really since college uh, at the University of Oregon when I ran a 5K up at, uh, up in, uh, well, at the old Hayward Field, which is now, in case you haven't heard, is now being torn down, which makes me really sad for a new stadium up there in uh, Eugene. So again, that is my threshold run. I love you guys. Thanks for coming along this journey. One day closer, threshold is keyword. And again, question of the day, I already asked it. Can't wait. I bet if you're a new runner, I bet there's gonna be some value for you, not in what I just said, but down in the comments because there's a lot of experience on this channel, a lot of experienced runners who have been running for decades, who, you know, who started maybe in their teens and they're in their 40s, 50s, 60s, now 70s, and they just have been through it all with respect to different types of workouts to build confidence. So don't hesitate to go down to the comment section. Did my mic just fall? Yes, it did. Hold on, hold on. I thought I felt it, I felt, hold on one second here. And we're back, okay, Mike is back. All right, so anyway, that is the deal down in the comments. Okay, we're gonna throw it back again. Thank you for being here and throwing it back to the blog where I talk about different types of runs. I think a lot of value there in the, uh, on the right side and on the left side, I will throw it back to my thoughts on threshold running, which is in the playlist about how to run faster. All right, you guys rock. One day closer, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.